I'm telling you Dave, I had my full hand right in there, just rooting around. It was wet, but surprisingly warm. The only downside is when you pull your hand out, it stinks of fish. Bollocks! I'm telling you Dave, those barbarian fishing techniques are crazy. Have a word with Otto, he's the one that taught me. So anyway, why are we on a walk? We never spend time together outside of challenges. <sighs> Basically, I've got some news. Did you get the test results back? Jen, I told you to- Shh, keep your fucking voice down, Dave. I don't want Weiss in the garden knowing I've got a diseased woad leaf, do I? <coughs> Bigger than that, I'm gonna be a father. What? <coughs> Who's the mother anyway? Bet she's got massive coconuts if you know what I mean, Jen. If I wanted coconuts, Dave, I'd be doing me farm runs, you fucking clown. Well, who is it then? Um, no, my dear. No. What? Yeah, you like that, you know me, fuck. Yeah, you want this fruit blast? You fucking didn't. I was fucked up. You're one to talk, cat lady shagger. Don't you dare bring Gertrude into this. Why not? You dumped her. Yeah, because of the stench of her puss. Steve, I don't need to know. No, no, the stench of all the cats. She has hundreds of the things. So what are you going to call the kid then? Well, I wanted to name it after a certain someone. Someone who's always been there for me. Oh, yeah? Someone who's provided me with memories I'll probably remember for the rest of my life and even though I give him stick all the time with what he's done for me I don't know how else I could repay him <laughs> Jen it would be an absolute honor Divock baby Divock after Divock Origi absolute legend the way he pulled us through the Champions League this year Dave we couldn't have done it without him anyway pub let's talk about six baby let's talk about Origi let's talk about when we tell her when it's got the pen <laughs>
at the spinning wheel and we're going to have one runner. So they'll be running in between, getting the flax off the flax picker, train it over to the person at the spinning wheel and then banking. Um, so that's going to be our supply of bowstrings. We're then going to have two people chopping down trees. We're going to have one person on U logs and one person on magic logs. They're going to be then cutting them. I'll be then in between the two teams. I'll be providing, I'll be trading over the, the bowstrings for the woodcutters. They'll turn it into the bows. It's an easy, easy profit. Um, I, we, we might overproduce on the bowstrings, but that's something we can amend and, and sort out and deal with during the challenge then we have operation energy we're gonna have two people mining rune essence who will then be feeding this into one person who will be turning them into double gnats nice little bit of money obviously got to find someone with the rune crafting requirement but that shouldn't be a, a, an issue there's a couple of people in our cc who are um, or melody fanboys so that'll be fine that'll be a nice little bit of income we then have operation hop which is going to be just the one lone warrior mining rune or gathering rune or for me for the hour and that'll be again another nice source of income so that is basically everybody there boys and girls that's uh pretty much everyone in terms of cost all i will be needing is two rune axes which is about 15k and about three rune pickaxes which is about 55k so nowhere near my 100k budget used absolutely perfect and let me just put a note in here, this could change after we uh, have a recruitment meeting with all the employees. They might offer some advice and let me tell you, if it's going to help me win, I'm going to take it and we might end up changing things of the business plan. Welcome to arguably the best RuneScape player run business in the game that anyone has ever seen. I'm very quickly going to go through my business model and you'll see what we are all about. So, I'm going to recruit seven skillers. To do some work for me so i'm gonna have two people mining that sweet sweet blue or for pure pure emphasis on the pure boys blue and pure keep note profit two times room pickaxes got them there bosh we're gonna have two people running blood runes for pure profit myth pick and chisel 2k bump that up it's about 4k next we're gonna have two people acquiring black chin chompers that is the money they're like 3k each i have two people doing that that is we can literally make a mill if they don't die we can make a mill and finally for the skillet we're gonna have one person cutting magic trees i needed one more person to do something and i could only just afford a rune axe i can also get myself on as well uh, i'm contemplating use to magics i'll let them decide but i, I would like magic trees we're gonna have one person selling glass i bought 30 molten glass it's going to be a tricky item to sell but i'm going to need someone that's got the unique pulling lines to sell that okay they they have got a it's got to go it's got to go like that it's got to go and finally i'm going to have one person selling four pirate hats these cost 10k each and i don't want them to accept anything less than 30k so ideally they sell all them 120k all this should make me some fairly decent money, so the only thing left to do now is recruit my team, so let's get to it. With our business plans locked down, me and Dave hopped in the CC to get our teams of 10 and pitch our ideas. It's fair to say, some took the ideas better than others. Right, so I just sent you one of the plans now, so I need three people picking flax. Oh, who the <laughs> fuck is doing flax? Please, come <laughs> off. But I was also keen to listen to my employees' strengths to see how I could utilise them. I'm not, I'm not to suit my own arm, but I've got nothing on cooking. Oh, bloody hell. So, oh, yeah, oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it down it's all right, chill out. <laughs> and after about an hour of hard deliberation, we had some good ideas flying around. The person so who quick. strings the bow should be have the candor and diary done because they string it faster. Oh, oh, that is oh man. Game, game knowledge. knowledge. That is game uh, knowledge. I mean, you could have like one extra person running slash picking flax and just have like Moist or someone go do bloods as well. So you have two people doing bloods, one stringer, one runner, two picking flax. Yeah, I was going to say, I could I could do red shins because I'd make way more money than double H's. Yeah, I'll leave. that'd be way better. And the plan was amended. We scrapped the essence miners and the rune crafter, instead opting to put two of these on blood runes, which is going to be more money, and one more as an extra flax picker. And with that done, we were ready to roll. You, you're really gonna need as much help as you can get with this. So essentially, this is to represent crystal meth. Cause uh, I've kind of based my plan on Breaking Bad, hence the uh, rune <laughs> ore and stuff. So I need you to sell these for as much as you can. 
<laughs> it's molten glass for anyone curious. <laughs> so, 30 of them. And then finally, we've got Think. Are we uh, mining the rune ore, yeah? Where do you want me to mine it? Wherever. Um, it's entirely up to you. Right, everybody's in position. We're about to start the timer. We've got our cutters, flax lads, the rune crafters, and we've also got a hunter in there as well. Let's do the fucking business, boys and girls. Welcome to Old School Runescape Challenges, you know what I mean? Right, so we've got big boy P is there waiting. Hello. So Jetty's the runner. Right, I'm on it now. I'm on it. I need to... Where are you? Here. There you are. Right. So yeah, I'll come up with you. Okay. Actually, no, what I'll do is I'll um, get the flax. And you, get, you get the next invent, Jetty. Yeah. And then you trade that over to Big P. And yeah. then he'll give you the bowstrings back and you bank it. Sido, you can just be running in between and just... Um, you can spin them yourself if you want. We just have to ditch, go to Slayer Tower and start killing gargoyles. Jen, you didn't hear that, okay? We're, we're not gonna... <laughs> <laughs> I come in here and you're going, yeah, we'll just go over to gargoyles and we'll just get some fucking rune ore. Fantastic, yeah, lads. It. Right, what I'm gonna do, we're allowed, we're allowed we're 10 people... We're allowed 10 people for the challenge, right? Yeah. Um, I bought myself a rune axe, and obviously there's only 9 of us, excluding me. Come on, mate. So I'm just going to do a little bit of wood cutting with the Come boys on, and help them out. Come on. <laughs> I've got di I got people with diaries doing my bloods. I'm out here, 6 chaps catching black chins. Got private hunting areas. I got 2 of the best salesmen in Gillenor. I'm never saying that again, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Selling my shit. He's literally back at the rune ore, by the way. Is it? Oh. I mean... You can, you can do red chins if you want, it's up to you, but black chins are still good money as long as you can tank them. Yeah. Uh, if you can't find any rune ore, then like, feel free to do anything else you want to do. 51 black chins, how much is that? Let's have a look. 150k. So I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to check up on the sellers here. I need some good news. Give me some good news, come on. Made one sale, 50k. <laughs> 50k? Um, can we, can I've we... only sold one for 35 right now. Can we take items? Uh, in exchange for the, the glass, yeah. Right, since there's only nine of us, um, I've actually taken it upon myself to woodcut some use myself to help the team out. I'm a bit of a team player, boys. Don't know if you know this. So far, everything's running smoothly with the flax runners. Looking good. Uh, Jetty's doing the old running. Uh, we've got two flax pickers and one spinning. There was one person who initially had the diary, um, which actually helps you spin the flats quicker, but we've actually assigned him over to do blood runes now, just because um, it's only a couple ticks which it saves. Don't think it's really worth it. Um, it seems weird having four people just on flax, but at the same time, number one, it's just decent money anyway with zero GP cost. I do have quite a lot of money left, but zero GP cost to get it going. Um, flat, uh, both strings are around 85 GP each, so it's good money, and it's adding around 200 GP value when we add those, when the cutters end up adding those to the bows. About half an hour in, I'm going to have to go over and check on the flax lads, see how many bow strings they've got, and then we can work out how many logs we've got, uh, how many cut logs. You called, lads? Um do us a favor, when it's like 10, 15 minutes in, come tell us, because me and Volrod are going to compare like how much GP we've made to see which one's better. Out of, That's like, user good. Magic. Boys, this is what I like about you guys, yeah. My own employees, just so dedicated, yeah. They want what's best for the team of Toso. Right, we're just making our first invent of you longbows. Um, in about five minutes, once we've hit the 15 minute mark, I'm going to jump in a call with the flax lads and also the woodcutters just to see how many bows we've actually made in comparison to bowstrings. If it finds out that one's heavily over, for example, if we're making like five times the amount of bowstrings in comparison to unstrung bows, then we can maybe take one person off flax, get them onto wool cutting as well, just so we can make more money that way. Um, well, I didn't know that blood runes were 360 each, so they're telling me that they can make 800k between them in an hour. Jesus um, I got someone, we've got 10 rune ore, and he, he's doing a clue scroll, so hopefully he gets a page from that, and uh, another guy's got about 60 red chins, so we keep it all like this, we're laughing, bet he's got people like, I bet all of them are skilling, 
But he hasn't got people selling stuff. We're almost a third the way in. What are we up to so far then? What's everyone got? Oh, it's been I got 87 red right eight. now. <laughs> Uh, 164k from Bloodruns so far. Oh. I've got 120 uh, red chins. Jesus. 120k from red chins. Yeah, 120k from red chins as well. Almost 200k in Rune Wars. <laughs> Fucking hell! Okay. I'm gonna come Runecraft in a minute. I've almost got 100 black chins. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I'm getting a bit scared though. But how do you uh, how do you do blood race? <laughs> <laughs> the hardest thing about this challenge is the communication and just in general getting everybody organized and doing them what you want them to do. Luckily, my team has been unbelievable so far. Um, my plan has changed a lot in comparison to when it first started. Um, we've got a lot more people doing a lot more time efficient stuff. So big props to the boys for for suggesting that for me. Flax lads, how are we doing? I don't even want to spoil it for you. Um, do you know a roundabout figure of how many uh, bowstrings you've got? Just because I spoke with the uh, woodcutters and they yeah, want to know about 15 more. minutes in. About 450. 450 so far. It'll be about 500 in about a minute, won't it, probably? Yeah. Right, okay, I'll let them know anyway. Afternoon, gents. Um, hello. Uh, we're hello. about 15 minutes in now. Um, do you know how many logs you've got so far? I've got two full inventories. You've got one. I've, I've done an invent, yeah. I've done two. It's about the same GP then. Flyer, you carry yeah, on with yeah. use, Volrod carry on with magics. Basically, I've done about 44 U-Bows. How many have you done in total? Two invents, like I've 50 done 54. odd. Right, and Volrod's just done the one. So he's done 27. Right, so we're looking at about 130 odd. Yeah. They've I'm done about sure 500. That. I just spoke with the Flax lads, they've done about 500 bowstrings already. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, no. Do you, okay. Do you, do you see what no, I mean do, about do, putting do, another person on it? That's why. I reckon, I reckon flat, get rid of the flax and chuck them on some. Go for the, go for the RNG. Oh, Give it to me, come on. Time for the sales. Yeah, I sold one for 200. Fuck off, how? I said it was Davy Jones' hat. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that, it's see, it's clever. How many, how many glasses have we sold? Um, I have sold, I think, eight. 9, 10, 11 glass. I've got 100k cash, 14 chaos runes, and 50 maple longbow. <laughs> I've been I've been selling some contact lenses. Oh yeah. And giving them an extra pair as well. <laughs> Lovely. So it's going pretty good. They just sold a pirate hat for 200k. <laughs> oh man. Oh, wow. I've made this whole time. <laughs> How many bloods have you both got? Um, 904, yeah. 900? 325k worth. How the fuck have you got 900 blood runes and I've done one invent? <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I was thinking of taking one person off flax and putting them on use, but then I don't know if it's worth it because they're not really going to make much money, are they? Put them on so like you... grey chins. Yeah, but the, if they can't do red chins and they're doing grey chins, they've got a shite hunter level. They've got a shite hunter level. The catch rate's going to be shit. If there's a shit catch rate, it's shit GP an hour. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Listen, yeah, Volrod, Volrod, <laughs> Volrod, you need to think like a businessman to be a businessman. Do you know what I mean? Runecrafters, how are we doing? Are we all right? Yeah, crafting away. How many bloody runes we got so far, do you reckon? I've got 416, so that's about 100. Oh, nice. So we've got almost 1k bloods. So yeah. Oh, yeah. 152k. Fucking beautiful. Lads. Keep up the good work, that's all I can say. I spoke to the woodcutters just to report back. Uh, they've done around, um, including myself, about 130 yeah. bows. Oh, so it, was that well, obviously we're, yeah, we're overproducing I, quite a lot on the on the bowstrings. We were talking about earlier, if you want us to do winter tods, I can go down there and yeah. do it because I've got three torches. That means I can get uh, tall store seeds. Right. If you think you can sacrifice the one person, then we'll do it. Me, yeah. me. <laughs> Right, as you just heard, ladies and gentlemen, we are overproducing on bowstrings, which isn't a bad thing, it's still money. But what we're going to do is we're going to sacrifice one person and put him on making, uh, on doing winter tart, and that's going to make us some decent money. I just need to find out an invent setup of warm clothes because he can't use his winter tart gear, which he already has. Uh, and just make sure to light the, um, the bug lantern. The bug lantern, yeah, that's all good. I'll Beautiful. Like that. Right, I'm going to go... Uh, Give these over to the Wolcotton boys, so I'll be right back. That's all good. Go on, how are we, are we going? 
I still got my third hat. I'm trying to get a good price. Yeah, it's so good. What? Do you need any more uh, molten glass? Still got 13 left. Oh, yeah. And someone traded me two ropes to kill myself. <laughs> Jeez, I'm not feeling too well. But... <laughs> But the sales are going well. I'm up to 200k. Jesus. 75k in the bag. Oh, oh, boys. A pair of contacts and some extras. Right, boys. We're at the halfway point at the minute. So far, we've made some pretty big decisions. We took one person off Flax and sent them over and bought them gear to go to Winter Tot. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I've checked on everyone else. We're looking. We're probably going to get around 3k blood runes by the end of this, which is crazy money. Um, we've also got Ollie. He's probably going to get around 500 chins. Uh, at the end of his hour, which is unbelievable. Cutters and woodcutters are working a dream. Also, the Flax lads are doing an unreal job. So, uh, listen, I'm a happy boss at the minute, boys. The business is going smooth as fuck. What more can I ask for? Going a piss. Oh, no. No pissing, loud in here, Flyer. No. Get back to fucking work. <laughs> <laughs> Them fucking logs aren't going to chop themselves, Flyer. They're already chopping. <laughs> you AFK in here once more fucking time. It's game over, Flyer. I'll have you off the team. <laughs> I'll take my logs with me. Right, so all is well in the Vitoso camp so far. Essentially, whenever I can, I'm just making some uh, some bows. Basically, I'm going to string them now. We've got about 15 minutes left. Um, it's a t it's a tough one, right? Because I want to be doing stuff productive, but at the same time, I'm getting questions from people might have to hop off into the chats make sure everything's going all right but so far so good we're going to get around a mill hopefully from the rune crafters woodcutters uh and the fletchers i reckon we're going to get a good around 100 magic longbows probably around three to four hundred uh u bows and then we're going to end up with probably around a couple hundred flax as well as our newly found fortune from our fire makers which is is going to be key i think so right i'm done with bloods so i need to go buy more contact lenses not crystal meth uh for the sellers we got joe 12 minutes how much money you have made from the sellers uh i think about 600k whoa i know i know right i'm at the g some glass here there you go if you want you can do uh buy one get four free oh this is getting sold black leprechaun hat Come on, 50k? He's put 50k up. He's done it. He's not even said anything. He's done it. Yeah, we got eight seconds. Yeah. Yeah, yeah fuck that. Yeah. Everyone wants to make their way to the uh, GU, see how much we've made. Right, so I personally made 82 bows. That's about 50k. I know it's not a lot, but I have been doing other things in between. Uh, we've also currently got about 670 uh, bow strings, which the flaxes have made. Uh, there's going to be more coming on top of that. I've given over, obviously, the 500 to the woodcutters and fletchers. They're going to turn those into bows now. So we're looking good, boys. We're looking really good. Flaxy lads, hello. All right, how are we doing? We've got uh, one minute left, so you can start wrapping up now. Once you're done, just uh, wait for me at Cami Bank. Rune Crafters. I'm done. Sweet, yeah, we've only got about 20 seconds left anyway. So if you want to, can you come over to um, Sears Bank? And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, after our hour of running the business. Dave, I'm curious how you found this one, because I thought I've done pretty well, I'm going to be honest with you. See, I, I think you're a man, you think you're the man of the people, but my business was incredible. I think, like, it's... I think that you thought that I wouldn't have it in me to get people to do stuff for me. Or I would, but very badly, but it's the complete opposite. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll trade over our total loot to see who's won, and then we'll explain to each other what we've done, because I'm really curious. Okay, okay. Right, any cash? Uh, I'm going to do that last, if that's okay. Right, so this is basically... I kept everything my, my business has generated, however... Uh, this was the leftover GP I had from the 100k, uh, which can be included. They, what are you oh, laughing didn't for? Tell that. Didn't tell me that, did you? Well, if you need it at the end, you can come back and, and add it on, Dave. That's fine. Right, I think it's about 4k, so... Right, okay. Um, the challenge come down to 2k last time, so... So I'm going to throw a couple things up here, Dave. You had a bowstring in business. Dave, I had four flax runners making okay. me bowstrings. I did change that halfway through because it wasn't really working. I was, was overproducing on bowstrings, which I'm going to show you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, had... so how many how many people did you have making the bows, cutting the trees? So I had two people. I had two people cutting and fletching. Yeah. I then had three people running in the end. So I had one person at the spinner, 
one person picking and one person running in between. So, a third of your resources were used for bows. So what did you do, Dave? <laughs> Jen, I'm sorry, but I think I've put you to shame. Go on. So I had a, I had a couple of miners that just got some gems for me. Right. Um, I had a woodcutter. He got me one log. Um, I mean, I can't really go into my plan. I think you should put yours up first. I really do. Right, so... I ended up switching and sending one of my flax runners because I was overproducing to Winter Tot. You really didn't get anything good. I got like one or two uncuts. Um, Winter Tot? Yeah. <laughs> that, Dave, <laughs> that is literally the fruits of the labour because it was about half an hour in. That They're the most volu- uh, profitable items. Jenny, I didn't spend money not get fire making XP. You what? Wait, so you've got two inventory spaces left and you've not even made half a mil. <laughs> is that bad? Jenny, you fucking Woolworths. Right, <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, right. I had two people running uh, Blood Runes for me. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that that's good money, yeah. Nice. And then I also had um, someone three-ticking uh, Regin Jombers for me. <laughs> yeah, three-tick. <laughs> and that's it, Dave, 2.2 <laughs> mil. I will be surprised if you beat that. <laughs> Come on, put your aims up. Okay, so I had... I bought three three pirate hats that I needed someone to sell. Right. And he managed to get me about 280k for them. Right, so that's Better instant... man, cost me 30k. Right, that's instant bullshit, very yeah. Well. Um, I also had a guy selling molten glass, uh, which follows my business model, which, you know, I explained. Uh, I'll put that up in a minute, but they also got a couple more items. Which, Why did you, know, you just she... literally put a mushroom on there? Um... Because these are the items they got, every little counts, as you know. As right. the price. And these sort of explain themselves, because we, we tried every every bartering technique in the book, and that's the response. Did someone trade you them? No, not me, one of my employees. Right, yeah. Shut the um, fuck up, you fucking little rat. <laughs> um, <laughs> we, 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 we got 89 magic logs in an hour. You didn't cut them, though, did you? The wood, no, my wood cut a cut Right. Um, okay, so I had two people mining Runor. What the shag? How do you feel about that? What the shag? Jed, I've never mined Runor before in my life, so it, it, apparently it's 52 an hour. Apparently. Um, whatever. Anyway, so I put in my own little graft, got myself about 320 blood runes and some watching chompers. Oh. Did that myself. I've got three you did to help your business. Did you do anything? Nope, didn't think so. I, so. No, I was managing Dave, and also I, I also produced some of the U Longs, you little fucking snake, so you can shut up. Oh, got some U Longs, how much are they each? Should, come on. How much are they each? Okay. Um so I had had a guy get me some red chins. I mean so I beat won. you already. So you've won. I mean a bit Jen, Jen, I'm not done. Double it. I also had two people running blood runes. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and I also Who did you employ doing fucking blood runes? Or Melody himself? People, two people with the diaries done. Jen. Right. If you're not researching, if you're not doing background checks and employees, Jen. Right, what? Come on, last one. Speed it up, Dave. Speed it up, Jen, come on. Jen, don't tell me speed up. I didn't tell my employees to speed up because I had them exactly doing what I wanted them to do, right? Oh my god. You Finally, molten glass. Sold for approximately 1.3 mil. <laughs> I'd be surprised if you beat me. Doubled it and halved it. How did you sell molten glass for 1.3 mil? Well, he, he got a 1 mil trade at the end from a guy that he's wearing like pull arm on a twisted bow. No, you're not. Why, why molten glass? I'm fucking confused as fuck. Because what? I based my business model off Heisenberg. And the oh, you actually as if it was like blue meh. glass. You are fucking glass. joking me. Well, we Why didn't did I do something like no, that? No, Jen, Jen, we didn't say it was molten glass. We didn't say it's like crystal meth. We said it was, well, what the, the technique he was using was that he's using them as glasses, not actually molten glass, they glasses <laughs> so they could see better. And he was doing two for one on them. So buy one, get one free. Oh my <laughs> fucking God. Right, I, Jen, I'm not, I've not lost because of fucking molten glass making. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I've regrettably lost the video. Therefore, I have a forfeit. Dave, put it on the screen. Well, I'm going to fucking edit it, so I'm putting it on the screen. Uh, I'll move him around for you. Move him around. Um, right. Let me have a think here. Two IRLs on there still. B1. Mm, nope. B, B3, please. I thought you were going to do a C dog was doing then. B1. B2. <laughs> B3. Yep. You sure? B3. Yep. It's an IRL, isn't it? Or you know it. Not B2. B3. Stick to my guns. B3? Yeah. It isn't it, actually. I, this one, nah, this is kind of Fabia, to be fair. I think you'll enjoy doing this one. Go on. Uh, it's the one minute skit. That's not too bad, then, because I can right. have fun with you, that at least. Yeah, you love your intros, don't you? Yeah, so. so that, that's, that's not even a forfeit for you. Right, so uh, for this one minute skit, what I've decided to do is I'm going to do like a little uh, rap as to why Dave is better than me in every aspect, game and or not on the game in real life. I mean, it's fact, isn't it? Um, I'm going to do like a RuneScape rap, so this is going to be fantastic with you. I'm going to get the, pe the, the, the pen to paper, Dave. Jenny uh, rapped in the other video, so it should it's second nature. True. Right, lads, hope you enjoy my rap. Thanks for watching. Click that subscribe button, boys and girls. And I'll see you in the next video. Right, let's get this show over with then. <clears throat> Dave's looking around like who's competing. Come on, Dave, I'm a human being. Went ahead and then did me dirty. Now I'm sat here wanting mercy. My rapping's good, my game knowledge isn't. And my tactics would make things different. Now I'm stood here with my pants down, shot me a belt. Now fuck that, shot me an L. And I'll catch it, because I'm shit. Can't believe you're in my room, bro, that's lit. Can't believe you sold glass, bro, that's sick. Can't believe I lack grit, that's madness. Beating Dave is a massive feat. If you thought you had a chance, then take a seat. And if you thought you could compete, this is what happens when you fuck with a challenger. Lee, Lee, running down the street. Wave 3, Dave is better than me. Dave's on a different planet than me. Dave pond the vid better than me. Now I'm sat here with deep regret. Can't believe half of the shit I've said. It's time to put this rap to bed as you kiss the ground that Tanzu treads bang. You happy now, Dave? Prick.